giant wave of zombies are attacking in 30 minutes. So we're getting high off the ground by building giant jungle tree houses. Will we be able to secure it in time? Um, these zombies told me that when the sun comes down, an army will attack. What? No way. This is terrible. If a zombie army attacks, we won't be able to survive because we don't have any houses. Yeah, Louisa, we need to get building stuff. All right, I say we build some huge jungle tree houses. So I'm going to build mine over here. Do you want to help me, Pip? Oh, sure thing, Louis. All right, good to know, Pip. All right, let's get started building this jungle tree house. So I'll put down some saplings like this and... Yeah, we're pretty much done. Uh, what is this, Louie? Well, these are the jungle tree saplings that I'm going to grow to make my tree. This is a horrible idea, Louie. I don't think I want to help you anymore. Wait, what? But you didn't even see me grow the trees. Oh, Louie, I don't really like this. I think I can build way better. What? Pip, come back. Oh, my gosh. Are you building that tree all by hand? Pip, look over here. You could have just done this. Boom, 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 boom. And here's a huge jungle tree. No, Louie, that's boring. Look, I'm making a giant staircase. Pip, that is the worst looking tree I've ever seen. You know what? You keep building like that, and I will keep building my tree. And let's see whose is the best at the end. Mine is going to be way better than yours. We'll see about that. But what I am going to do, guys, I'm is going to make some very, very big twigs coming off the side. This way, I can add different rooms on different levels of the tree. Now, at the top of the tree, I can have my main house. But I don't know. It seems a little too small. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to make this even bigger. Let me just get some dirt and plant another tree on top. Whoa! This tree is now double as high. This looks epic. Not as epic as my tree. Um, I don't know, Pip. I haven't seen your tree yet. But all I know is that it looks very, very no, bad. No, it doesn't, Louie. Look, I'm placing leaves all around. Wait, I have to admit, that does look pretty cool. But it won't be better than my tree, that's for sure. Did I forget to mention as well, Pip? We have to secure our bases with deadly traps. Like these spikes and some deadly lasers. Those zombies won't have a chance. Oh, Louie, I don't need spikes and lasers. My jungle tree is already going to be secure because it's a staircase. Uh-huh. We'll see about that when all of the zombies climb up that staircase and eat your brain. Uh -huh. But that isn't going to happen to me because I have the power of world edit commands, which makes me a pro at Minecraft. So I can surround my jungle tree base with a ton of lava. Oh, are you cheating already, Louie? No, I'm not cheating. World edit is allowed. It just means I'm a pro. Wait, world edit is allowed? Oh, let me get world edit right now. Oh my gosh, you've been building all of that by hand, Pip. There is no way you can beat me, but... Oh no, maybe I should start working on my house right now. You're already starting on your floor. I need to build a house on top of this tree, and I think I'm going to use this one of symmetry, which allows me to build all the way around this tree like this. Are you ready to lose this build challenge, Pip? I don't know if you are. Oh, Louis, there's no way I'm going to lose to someone who only has a pit of lava. Uh-huh. I don't only just have a pit of lava, Pip. I also have a base starting right now on the top. I'm going to put a bunch of jungle trees around my treehouse just so those zombies get confused on which jungle tree is mine. Wait, that's actually a really good idea. But I don't have to worry about my traps just yet. I'm going to worry about making my house as secure and awesome as possible. And I think adding a nice red carpet will do that. I'm also going to make this thing look really jungle-like. So I'm going to add a top floor up here coming out of the top of the roof. This looks awesome. This is going to be my lookout point, 
where I can see all of those zombies. Just watch this, guys. You are going to love this. I'll get some red stained glass, and I am going to place it all the way around the walls like this. And now, if you take a look at this thing, I have an awesome lookout point all the way at the top, which allows me to see all of the zombies around my tree. I think I'll just go ahead and add some glass to the ground as well. Now, I just need to add a ladder going up to the top. This will allow me to climb up and get into my room. This room looks amazing. I think I'll top it off by adding a roof now. Let's just add that on like this. And boom, boom, boom. Let's add a ton of jungle logs all over the roof now. But I think I'm also going to make this look a little bit like an observatory by adding a nice glass dome just roof. Just like this. This is also going to make my base look way better than Pip's. What do you think so far, guys? Is my base better than Pip's? Just take a look at mine, then take a look at Pip's. Comment down below whose is better. You already know mine is going to be better than yours, Bluey. You don't have to ask anyone else. What, Pip? I'm looking at your base and it looks terrible. <laughs> mine looks like a modern UFO, huh? whilst yours just looks like a big box. Well, Bluey, we're supposed to build a tree house, not a UFO. Well, I am building a tree house. It's not my fault it looks futuristic. Look at this. I'm adding some bits that go down back to the tree. This is so cool looking. I'm going to make it connect to the bottom of this tree. Whoa, that's so cool. You know what? I think I'm going to make this tree look a lot thicker. I'm going to make a massive tree trunk going all the way down. This is going to look so amazing. Let's just connect it all up from here. Then I'll make the trunk come back out as it comes towards the ground. And then I'll make it nice and wide towards the Let's base. Let's just take a look at this tree and I have to admit, this is awesome. Let's just build this thing up now from the ground. Pip, how is your jungle tree coming along? I'm just adding some more leaves right now so it's practically invisible. Invisible? What do you mean practically invisible? Pip, your bases are never invisible. There's no way those zombies won't see it. Oh, it's going to be invisible because I'm using a technique called camouflage. Camouflage? We've all heard about camouflage, Pip, but what's so good about your base? Oh, well, it's a giant box right now, but don't worry. I'm going to add more right after I finish adding some more camouflage. All right, Pip, and while you do that, I am going to go ahead and build up the rest of my tree. I need to make sure this thing looks like a tree as well, even though it is kind of thick. I don't want it to be too big, because if it's too big, it will look weird, like yours. Mine isn't weird. Yours is weird. What? This doesn't even look like a tree. What do you mean it doesn't look like a tree? Look, it has a thick trunk on the bottom, and it goes up smaller, and then goes really big at the end. It looks more like a pyramid in Egypt. <laughs> what do you mean a pyramid in Egypt? This looks just fine, Pip. I don't know what you're talking about. This looks awesome. Then I'll round it out on the top here, and this should make this look awesome. Yeah, that is definitely the best looking tree I've ever seen. And it has a futuristic base on the top. Now what I'm going to do is add some logs coming off of it. I need to make sure that this does look like a tree. I think these leaves are going to make up all of the different rooms. But you know what? Instead of using leaves, I'm going to use these lime concrete blocks. This will make my base a little more camouflaged, just like Pip talks about. Just like this. I can have a green line going down the middle of this leaf, and boom! Yeah, Pip, you are not beating this tree. It looks so crazy. Oh, well, there's no way you can beat my camouflage skills. Pip, I am not going to even need camouflage, because I'll have some OP traps. And now let's build up these rooms. I am going to use lime-stained glass in order to camouflage myself just like this. And I'll add some see-through walls so that I can hide inside of these leaves if anything goes wrong.
wrong. Look, it's also building them on all the other sides. Meaning I can put whatever I want in these rooms. Now let's go ahead and actually add a good lava moat around the outside of this thing. I'm going to go ahead and stop all this lava and let's actually build a good lava moat. Uh -huh. So here we go. I'll go around this side and I'll set this to lava. Then I'll go around this side and then put some more lava. But now I have this awesome lava moat. I need a way across because if I can't get in the house in survival mode, then uh, I'm kind of cooked. So let's go ahead and do an entrance. What I'm going to do is use some fake lava. And if you guys didn't know what fake lava is, it basically means if I go inside in survival mode, I do not die at all. So this can be useful for many reasons. I could use fake lava to make a secret way through this lava moat. As you can see, where the lava sinks down into the real lava, that is where the fake lava is. So I should be able to, in survival mode, by the way, just jump in and swim through all the way to the entrance of my treehouse. My entrance is so cool. You actually have to climb the tree to get up to my base. Whoa, it's kind of like Jack and the Beanstalk. It's crazy. But Pip, one of the zombies gets up. You'll be done for. Oh, wow. I'll just add a trap. But Louie, come flip this lever. Wait, why? There's dispensers and they're pointing towards my tree house. Oh, no, there's no dispensers. What are you talking about, Louie? Uh, there's no um, dispensers. Oh. Uh, Okay, I, I guess I'll press the button, but I want to see outside to see what happens. Oh, sure. All right, let me press it and... Yeah. Wait, Pip, you just shot fire charges at my base. <laughs> no, Burn, stop. Louis Jungle. Nuh -uh. Burn. Nuh -uh. Stop that right now. You know what? I am taking away your dispenser privileges. What? I'll get you back for that, Louie. Yeah, you better try, Pip. But anyways, I haven't even done an entrance to my base yet, so I'm going to make one. Let me just go ahead and make a massive door on the front. This door has to be really epic looking, and I think that is a very good shape, but it's not symmetrical, so let me just do this. Boom! Now what I'm going to do is make a path that goes into the inside. So let me just set this to smooth stone. Just like that. And I'll fill up the inside with the smooth stone as well. This looks really secure right now, guys. What kind of traps do you think I should put inside? Comments down below. But while I wait for your comments to roll in, I'm going to make this trap epic. Look at this, guys. I am going to turn this entrance into a fake entrance so that the zombies all die if they try to walk inside. I need to make sure that this entrance is as secure as possible. And we can't just have a massive hole in the side of my base. So let me grab some lava and place it in here. And now what I'm going to do is place some ghost blocks over the top of it. Which basically just looks like normal blocks, but if you walk over them, you fall through! Those zombies won't know what hit them. But now what I'm going to do is add the real entrance at the back. So let me just build it right here. This spot should do nicely. I'll just make another big entrance here, and all I have to do is just grab some sun and just fill up this door hole with these signs like this. And once I've placed down enough signs, I should be able to place a painting over the top. This allows me to hide my entrance. Watch this, guys. If I get a painting and place it right here, it'll cover up this entrance. I just need to place enough of them. That looks pretty good. You wouldn't expect an entrance behind those paintings. Uh -huh. But if you walk through, it takes you straight inside. All right, now my first trap is complete. Please. I have a laser trap, so when those zombies come up here, they're going to be zapped. Over here, I think I'm going to make a living room. I'm going to put the TV screen right up here, and the farming channel is on. But, oh, I really need a couch to watch TV. Let's get a couple yellow couches so I can sit down and watch TV. Oh, I love watching TV. I also love playing video games, so let's go ahead and get a Nintendo. No switch so I can play Super Duck Bros. And if Louie ever comes over here, we can play Super Duck Bros together. But now, guys, for one more trap inside of my base, I'm going to place these spikes all the way around. This will make sure that any mobs that get anywhere near my base have taken.
taken a little bit of damage, which will allow me to kill them very quickly. Guys, if you think my base is going to be stronger than Pips, then make sure to like the video. But now that I've done that spike trap, it's time to go on the inside of my base and add everything I could ever need. First of all, I need some sort of ladder up. So I guess I'll use these vines to get myself all the way to the top. It's way cooler than ladders. So I'm going to build a massive living room. This is where I will do everything I want to do. Like watch TV and play video games and eat food. So I'm going to put a big red sofa right here because this is my cinema room where I'll be watching the biggest TV ever. So let me go ahead, grab a big TV screen and just place a ton of them. Look at that huge TV I have now. But just so that my feet can be nice and comfortable, I'm going to place some red wool on the ground here so that I can wiggle my toes all around this red wool. But now I need to work on the entrance of my base. So I'll go ahead and add a big red carpet going all the way through. And then I'll have it go around the back of this TV over here. I have to be careful not to get around those ghost blocks or else I might mess up my trap. And look, my ghost blocks won't work with a carpet on top. So I'll leave it like that. And there we go. We now have a carpet going all the way around my TV. Now what's left to do is add a carpet going this way. And it'll take me to my kitchen. So let me grab some of these kitchen tiles and let's get started. I'm going to make this kitchen in the corner of my base. Then I'll have another corner over here for my gaming setup. Let's go ahead and get some cabinets. This will allow me to make the best kitchen you've ever seen. I'll use these red kitchen counters for now. Because I love the color red. Don't you guys know that? What's your favorite color? Comment down below. But enough about that. I am going to now add a really cool sink. This is so I can wash my hands if I need to. Hmm, something is missing in this kitchen. And I think I know what it is. I am missing a crazy big oven. So let's put that down in here. This is looking cool, all right? But now what I need is kitchen storage. So I am going to get some of these kitchen cabinets. And I'll get these brick ones because they're red. And I'll place them just up here like this. Perfect. But now all I need is a nice toaster. Yeah. And I need a microwave or else I won't be able to make microwavable meals. So there we go. My kitchen is complete. Let's just add some cool jungle logs to it so it looks just that bit more epic. And now that my bottom floor's TV is completed, I think it's time to work on my second floor. Mm -hmm. I have a room which I'm going to put a bathroom in here as well as my bedroom. Oh. Let's just get started on my bedroom. bedroom. So first, I need a yellow bed because where else am I going to sleep? Huh? And then in the corner, I think I'll put a bathroom. So let's just get a cauldron and put it in the corner. And now, I need to put my PC set up. So let's just get a computer right over here. And let's get a desk to put it on. Let's just put the desk right here, the PC right there. And now, I need a chair. Mm -hmm. What chair should I use? Oh, I should use this one. One is yellow after all. I love the color yellow. Okay, let's just add a little bit of a painting. And now I think it's time to work on my bathroom. Yeah. My bathrooms are always super good. We're going to need a lot of stuff for my bathroom. So let's get a bathtub, a shower, a sink, and the toilet. Let's just put the toilet and the toilet paper right there. And I think I'll put the sink on the roof. Mm, the bathtub above the toilet. Now let's put a shower right above the bath so I can take a bath and a shower at the same time. Wait, where did my bathtub go? Let me just put that back. Now my bathroom is beautiful. But now, guys, what I want to build is my PC setup. So this is going to be nice and easy. All I have to do is build a nice big red desk. I want to put my dual monitor setup right there. And then all I need is my beefy red PC. That looks so cool, guys. What I'm also going to do is add a nice curtain for my privacy. This makes it so that when I'm gaming by myself, no one is allowed to come in and see me in my room. I'm also going to go ahead and 
and give myself a nice seat right there. And also, I'm going to give myself three Nintendo Switches. Because I'm rich like that. But now, guys, the bottom half of my build is done. It's time to work on the top half. Let's go up here. So first of all, I think this leaf over here is going to be a bathroom. Because I definitely want to be able to take poops in this base. I do not want to have to go outside where the zombies are. So let's go ahead and cover this up so that no one can see me from below. Now all I have to do is add some toilet things like a sink and a toilet just like this one and also some toilet paper. I think I'll get a mirror as well just to help me out. Let's use some smooth quartz because quartz is usually a block they use in bathrooms just like this one. Boom. We now have this nice big table. Let's go ahead and fit in everything we need. So let's have one sink with some storage underneath. I think I'll add another one too. And I'll put down two mirrors so I can look at myself wherever I go. Now all I need to do is just add my toilet. So let's go ahead and put it right here. And then I'll put some toilet paper right on the side so that I can grab it from here. But since I have a lot of space in this bathroom, I think I'll also add a shower. I'll add one of these big ones. Just like this. Whoa. You know what? I'll put it right here. That looks epic, guys. I can walk into my shower, turn it on, and then take a nice soap. But now that my bathroom is complete, it's time to work on some other rooms. And I think I'll work on this one right here, which will be my defense room. This is where I'll be able to stop those pesky zombies from all the way up here. To do that, I'm going to grab some of these dispensers and then place them around like this. Let's see if you guys can guess what this trap is going to be. I'll put some green terracotta in these formations. And then I will grab some redstone dust and place it around on the top. Just like this. Now what I need to do is place down a block here. Get a lever. And if you guys still haven't guessed what this is, it's a TNT dropper. It will launch a bunch of TNT all over the zombies, which will kill them. So let's give this a quick test run. I'll press this lever. And there it goes. Oh. Uh, uh, that's not good. Oh, no. I just blew up the entire ground. Oh, it's fine. I'll fix it. Louie, what did you do? Um, nothing, Pip. Don't worry about it. I fixed it now. Oh, thank goodness you're not working on my base. Oh, I don't want to work on your base. It's kind of bad. But I do need to fix my trap pronto. Or else I'll have a lot of problems. How about this? I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of these gaps like this. And then I'll just... Just put some lava right here so that any TNT that drops down will just not be able to blow up. That should hopefully work. Let's just go ahead and test it just in case. I'll drop another chunk of TNT right down here. Three, two, one, test run two. Boom. The TNT lands there and it doesn't blow anything up, but it works. Good stuff. But there we go. I have a bathroom and a trap. But now I want my bedroom. So I'm going to put it over here. I think this would be a very good room to have it. So let's go ahead and get myself a red bed, some red banners, and a bunch of cool red blocks. I'm also going to get myself some chests for storage, which I'll put right here. I'll plan this out right now. I'll have some storage there and some storage here. Then I'm going to have some red nether bricks in this corner, which leads to my ultra cool double bed over here. Now all I have to do is just add these banners, and it looks like my bed is kind of held up really weirdly. That looks really cool. But now I'm going to put a ton of books inside of my bedroom because if you guys didn't know, I love to read. <laughs> what are your favorite books? Mine is the Spider-Man book. But no, this doesn't look right. My bedroom is too small. You know what? I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to make a lot more room in this room so that I can have a second floor here. So let me go ahead and build this up and add some more glass the side. This is going to be a really, really cool double bedroom. So there we go. This is looking pretty cool. Let's just add the roof on like this once again, and then add a ladder that comes to the second room. Let's 
do this right here. Boom, boom, boom. This looks good. I think this room is going to be where I do my favorite hobbies. And that will be looking at the stars when the sun goes down. So I'm going to get these cool telescopes like this and place them facing out of the window. Just one there, then one there, and then one here. That looks really awesome. Now I'm going to put a red carpet that goes through this room and to all of these telescopes. But now I want a swimming pool. So I'm going to go ahead and add one. Let's just add these red nether bricks and then boom, boom, boom. We now have a swimming pool. This looks awesome. I love it. There we go. But now my rooms are looking cool. Look at this awesome leaf that has my bedroom inside. You guys like this? If you guys like this build right now, make sure to subscribe because me and Pip build crazy things like this every single day. Yeah. But now that I've got my bedroom, finally I need an armory to be able to have weapons to fight off those evil zombies. So let's go ahead and make one. I'm going to get some armor stands like this and I think I'm going to make one for me and one for Pip. This will help Pip if his base is terrible, which <laughs> I think it is. So all I have to do is grab some of these chests and I'll be able to add some armor to the armory. I think I'm also going to add some cool details like some lava coming down from the roof. So let's add one over here and then one over here. Let's just put some glass down there and then put a hole in the now roof. Now all I have to do is just put some lava here and some lava here. Whoa, this looks really cool. But anyways, here we go. I'm now going to add some armor to these armor stands. And what better to use than netherite armor? This stuff is the strongest armor in Minecraft. That's why I love it. Uh, plus, I also look very cool in it. Now, all I have to do is just get some weapons. So I'm going to use these infinity swords. They can kill an enemy in one hit. That is why I use it. Then, I'm going to get a dragon bone bow. And if you guys didn't know, this can kill an enemy in one hit as well. Which means it's very, very good. So I'm going to have a ton of these arrows inside. But then finally, what I'm going to do is make a hole in the top of this chest. And I am going to put some golden apples inside. This way, I will take no damage. And those zombies will not even be able to stop me. It looks so beautiful outside. I have a balcony right here in my armor and my weapon. So I can see when those zombies are coming and I can just shoot them. But, oh, I'm going to need food to fight a bunch of zombies. Oh, I think I should make a kitchen right here in all of this empty space. Let's just put a bunch of kitchen tiles on the ground. So this looks like a real kitchen. Let's go ahead and put the counters right here. And put the counter sink right here so we can wash our hands and wash any food that needs to be washed. And right over here, I'm going to put the refrigerator to store all of the food. I can't forget about the stove to actually cook the food. And if I want to cook some other kinds of food, I can use a toaster and I can also use a microwave. Oh, I can cook popcorn in this microwave. It would be so yummy. I don't know what else to do in my face, so I think I'm going to prank Louie. I'm going to dress up as my favorite superhero, Batman. Oh, I'm going to scare Louie so much. He's going to think I'm Pip Man, but actually it's just me. Pip is dressed up as Pip Man. Oh, let me just fly over here behind Louie while he's not looking. Wait, do I see something? I swear I saw something out there. Oh, look at him. He's so distracted. <laughs> but I need to be sneaky, so let's go ahead and go through the roof down here and be really slow. Let's just put a bunch of chickens and pee behind Louie. Wait, did I hit glass break? And did, did I just hit water? Wait, there's a chicken here. What's going on? Oh, let me make sure to drink my potion of invisibility. Oh, do you know something, mister? Do you know something? Huh? Did, did you bring your friends here, huh? Did you bring your friends here? Oh, look at how dumb Louie is. Luckily, he can't see me because I'm invisible. Don't worry, I'll pick you up and... No! Wait, who is that? Oh, what is Louie looking at? He can't see 
me. I'm invisible after all. Uh, hello? <laughs> Who are you? Who is Louie talking to? Oh, I can see you there. You, in the black costume. How can you see me? I'm invisible. Uh, yeah, you may be invisible, but <laughs> you still wear the armor, you know. What armor? This is my natural skin. Uh, what? Pip, come back. I know it's you. I I I'm not Pip. I'm Pip Man. Uh? Boo! No, no, you're not. You are not Pip Man. Pip Man is way scarier. Uh, how can you even see me? I can see you because you're not very invisible, Pip. Just drink some milk already. Maybe I can drink this pee instead. No! Ew! Not in my base! Oh, Pip, get out of here right now. I need to keep building. Fine, if you don't want me to drink it, you can have it instead. Ew! No, get that out of here! Oh. Oh my gosh, guys, Pip is always ruining my and life. And put pee and ducks and chickens everywhere. Oh. Let me just get rid of all of this pee everywhere. And then I should be okay. How much pee did he put down? And there we go. Phew. That seems about right, but I need to get rid of these chickens. And what better way than to do it with a diamond sword? <laughs> Let's get going. Oh, yeah, take this, take this. Wait. This is actually pretty fun. Pip never told me that killing chickens and ducks was so fun. Ah, yeah! All right, now that I'm done, I need to finally add some things to this observatory room. I think I'm going to make a McDonald's up here. So I'm going to get some yellow concrete and some red concrete. This will allow me to make a really cool looking McDonald's. Let me just replace this with some red. This will be the counter. Ooh. There we go. Now I just need to make this look like a McDonald's. So I'm going to add this kind of shape like this and then get a yellow banner. This will allow me to make the M without making this look too weird. Look at that! I have a McDonald's M, but it's only on these little thin flyers, meaning it won't get in the way of you when you're taking your order. Now what I'm going to do is grab some stairs and this will be for the cash register. Now I'll be able to take orders. And then finally when my order gets through, I'll have this table right here and I'm going to to have an area where you can make food on these deep fryers. And I'm also going to get a few ovens too. Because you can't cook any food without one. Perfect. We now have ovens and deep fryers. But we need to show what food we are going to be cooking. I'll place down some fries in this deep fryer. I'll also do it in this one and this one. And now I'll put on the wall the burgers that I'll be cooking. So like this hamburger, cheeseburger. Boom. This is such an awesome looking McDonald's. McDonald's. But I think I need one more thing, and that is a balcony, so that I can kill any zombies down below. Ooh. After all, I still need to make this base secure, so I'm going to get some jungle wood and build out like this. Then I'll get some glass so I can see any zombies below. I'll add some slabs like this that will work like a fence. I don't want to have actual fences here, though, because if I do, I might not be able to jump over them and shoot down with my bow, which I would want to be able to do. But now that I've got this balcony and this red McDonald's, I think I want to make something quite entertaining. So I think I'm going to make an aquarium. So I can have a ton of fish inside of my base. I'll just get this red stained glass and cover up this wall. Let's just build up with this red very quickly. And there we go. Now let's just add some water inside. So let's grab some water, fill it all up. Boom, 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 Bap, bap, boom. And yeah, this looks pretty cool, guys. Now, if I go on the outside, you can see the water on the inside. Yeah. All I need now is a bunch of different fish. So I am going to get all of these fish buckets. And I'll place all the fish inside here. Let's put a ton of tropical fish. And then some of these butterfly fish. They look really cool. And then some raccoon fish. And there we go. Those are all the fish that will live in my aquarium. This looks very cool. But now, guys, finally. I am going to do a painting to show that I am the king of this castle. Right, let's get a nice big painting just like this one. And let's paint me with a big 
like a king crown. So let me just get the color of everything I need. All right, let's draw myself. So first of all, I'm going to fill the background in black. And then I'm going to draw my big, beautiful face. So let me just do that. I'm going to draw a big circle just like this. This is my face. And now it's time for me to draw everything else. So I am going to do my hoodie that comes all the way up here and back down. Then I'm going to draw my little hoodie around my head. This will make me look very cute. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of looking bald right now. Don't worry, guys. I'll fix it in a second. Let's just make my hoodie look a little bit rounder like this. And boom. That looks pretty good. Now let's add my hair. And I have a nice swoop down to the left like this. So that is looking pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Is my hair too long in this one? You know what? Maybe I should make my hair just a slightly bit smaller. I don't want to have too long hair. There we go. Now let's add my big green eyes. So I'll do one hair and one hair. And I'll put them looking goofy in the middle. And then finally, I'll do my big, beautiful smile. Just like that. All I have to do now is add outlines and then add the big crown on my head. So let's do that. I'm going to add some outlines to this painting so it looks just that bit more epic. And finally, I'll add my hoodie strings, which are white. So I'll need to get that color really quickly. Let's just do them going down here and then getting bigger at the end. Boom! I think I'll add a nice white outline to the outside of my drawing now. Just so that I look like I'm glowing. This looks beautiful now. Here we go. And done. Now, there I am. In all my glory. And you know what? I'm gonna give myself a king crown. Just like I said. So let's do one little one here. And then I'll do one little one here. And then I'll finally do one big spike in the middle. And then that is my king crown. I'm just going to put the Louis crown jewels in the middle here and here and here and then i'll add a big emerald in the middle that looks awesome oh, i really need to work on the security of my jungle tree what if i hire a bunch of security guards to protect my tree these security guards are going to be so good i bet louie doesn't have security guards oh, got so many security guards and i think they even spread snow on the ground. And what if those zombies get stuck in the snow and die? I don't think that would happen. But what if it did? But wait a second. I know I finished my painting. When I look outside, the moon is there. That must mean that the sun is going down. Pip, get out here right now. Those zombies will be here any second, buddy. Louis, I need to get my armor on. Yeah, you're right. Me too. I'm going to go to my armory room right now and get suited up. Let's just go ahead and get all my armor on and yeah, I'm ready now. Let me just get my swords and my bow and arrows. Yeah, I forgot that as well. Let me just grab those too. I'll get some enchanted golden apples for safekeeping. All right, Pip, I'm ready to face off against those zombies. Let's just look outside and see where they are. All right, let me just climb to the top of my base. And let's look out the observatory windows and wait, I don't see anything, but oh my goodness! Huh? There's so many zombies down there! Look down there, Louie! They're coming to attack us! This is really bad. I'm going to shoot my arrows down from above and kill them! Boom, boom, boom! Yes, these arrows are working really well! And look, all the zombies are jumping into the lava! This is working perfectly! But wait a second, Pip, I think some of them are swimming through my trap! How can they swim through lava? I don't know, but it seems like they managed it. Oh, no. I'm going to <gasps> jump down and get a better angle to shoot them from. Oh, no. There's zombies climbing up my tree. Pip, watch out. Don't worry. I'll cover you with my arrows. Boom. Oh, thanks, Louie. Just watch where you're aiming that. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm really bad at shooting this bow. Just keep shooting them, Pip. You have to keep them out. Did you add a trap to your staircase or not? I mean, I put spikes and snowmen all around my jungle tree. Oh, Pip, that's not good. Enough. You know what? I'm coming to your jungle tree. I need to see what it looks like on the inside. I'm coming over right now. Oh, how am I gonna get there? Oh, come on, Louis. Oh, I'm just, just try to get past the zombies. Oh, I'm just gonna swim through them. Swim, swim, swim. Oh, I made it. I made it. Let me just climb all the way up your jungle tree now. Pip, these zombies are really annoying. I know, Louis. But I'm almost.
close here. All you right. Get me inside that base. I need to see what it looks like. And Whoa. You have a laser trap keeping the zombies out. Of course I do, Louie. I'm not. Um, yeah. Wait. What just happened? What is this? The fish tried to escape from the aquarium. Um, Pip, I killed it. But it almost killed me. I got poisoned by that thing. Oh, you should be fine, Louie. Just here. Take some food. Wait, this isn't food. This is rotten flesh. Ew. Pip, take some of these enchanted golden apples. They're way better. You have golden apples? Yep. Why wouldn't I? But anyways, Pip, show me through your base right now. I need to see exactly what we are protecting right here. Over here is the Louis Exterminator. Whoa, be careful. Oh, it's a good thing I still have glass in front of that or else my base would be on fire. I forgot to get rid of that glass. But come over here, Louis. We can play Super Duck Bros. Wait, no way, we can. But Pip, we should probably play that game after we kill the zombies. Oh, you're right. Otherwise, um, we might get ambushed while we're not looking. But come upstairs, Louie. I haven't shown you the rest of my base. Okay, whoa. What is this room? This is the kitchen. Look, I can open and close the oven and the microwave and the fridge. Oh, yep, Louie. Maybe we can put one of those zombies in this oven. Oven. Yeah, that would be a pretty good idea, Pip. But let's not think about it right now. Let's just keep going through your base. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the bathroom, Louie. Oh, wait, Pip. Um, I have a question. What's what's wrong, Louie? Why do you have the toilet right next to the bathtub? And why is the toilet water white? Oh, well, I didn't really look at the toilet water. I'm not sure what's in there. But where else am I supposed to put the bath? Well, I guess you're right about that. There is nowhere else you could put it, so... Yeah, I can't put it on the ceiling. I already tried that with the sand. What? what? Uh, Pip, look, okay, I'm sorry I'm gonna have to tell you this, but I'm moving your bathtub. I'm putting it, like, uh, right here, in the corner. This is way oh, better. Are you stealing my bathtub? No, I was just moving it. It looks way better there, and it seems like it would be way better to protect there. Oh, yeah, Louie. And right over here is my room. I've even got a toilet in the corner. Um, Pip, why have you got a toilet in the corner of your room? And why can I stand in it? Well, I needed a really big toilet because sometimes my poops are huge. Ew, Pip, what? No! I'm not going in there. I don't want to touch your poop. Well, I also put a toilet next to my PC setup so I can play video games while using the bathroom. Oh, wait, that is actually kind of genius. Why did didn't I think of that? Well, because you don't have much of a brain, Louie. Hey, that's mean. Uh, but wait. anyways, this looks cool. Louis, Whoa, help. help me. Uh, kill it. Ah. Oh, how did it get up here? I don't know, but I hope there's no more. Oh. Whoa, another one. An ambush. Pip, they're ambushing us. Oh, it seems like I forgot about baby zombies. They can get through my lasers easily. Oh, no, this is scary. Die. Oh, that was way too scary, Louie. All right, let me just check if there's any more zombies oh, and... and... Wait, what? What's wrong? Come upstairs, they ambushed us. Wait, no way. I knew those baby zombies were scouts sent to try and kill us. Look how many zombies there are. Oh, oh no. Pip, get out of that corner right now. I'll save you. Take this, zombies. I'm trying. Oh, I'll shoot them with my bow instead. That should be a lot safer. And whoa, Pip, what did you just shoot them with? Oh, I threw a splash potion of Turtle Master. Wait, Pip, that's a terrible idea. Look, they all have resistance. I can't even kill them anymore. Wait, I didn't throw resistance. I threw the Turtle Master. Yeah, Pip. That potion gives you slowness and resistance. So it makes you really slow, but really strong. Oh, surely it doesn't, Louie. Oh, Pip, watch out. And boom. We just killed the last baby zombie. At least I hope so. Oh, come on, Louie. Let's take this potion. All right, Pip. Let's go ahead and chill in your base. And wait, more zombies? Oh, they just keep coming, Louie. Look, it seems like they're coming down the stairs. Uh, wait a second, Pip. I think you have an infestation. They're spawning in your base! Oh, how could they do that? 
I don't know, but I don't think I like it. Pip, we have got to evacuate this place. Let's go to my base. Hurry. All right, Louie, I'm coming. All right, and whoa, there's so many zombies down here. Pip, oh, word of advice. Do not go into your base. Oh, my goodness. There's so many. I know. Maybe we should do something like throw TNT on them. Please, Pip, do you have TNT? Of course I do, Louie. Oh, my gosh. Go ahead, Pip. Drop a TNT on the heads. All right, Louie. Bombs away. Oh, yeah. Boom. Whoa. Oh, no. Pip, I fell in the TNT. This is bad. You did what, Louie? Uh, I fell in the TNT and almost died. But I think we're okay, Pip. Stop dropping TNT. We killed tons of them. You said more TNT, Louie? No, stop. Uh, stop it, Pip. Stop putting TNT down. This is bad. Stop, 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 stop. Why stop. would I stop, Louie? There's so many zombies. Pip, let's stop worrying about your base and start worrying about mine. We need to get inside. Hurry. All right, Louie. Let me make it to your side. All right, Pip. Hurry. We need to get across. So follow me through this fake lava. Just swim this way and then this way. But don't tell the zombies. All right, Louie. Let me just jump in. Hurry. We need to jump over these spikes and round the side of the base. All right, Louie. Is this a secret entrance? Yep. Look, if those zombies make it over here, they will fall into my trap and die. We just have to wait and see if they can make it first. All right. Come on and look, Pip. The first zombie. Zombies are here. Hopefully they fall in and wait. They're ignoring my ghost blocks. Oh, they're really smart. No way. Oh, it seems like some of them are falling in, though. Wait, you are kind of right, Pip. Some of those zombies are falling into the trap. Look. All right, perfect. At least we know these zombies aren't as smart as they look. All right, Pip. Do you want me to show you around my base? Of course, Louie. All right, take a look at this. We have the cinema room where you can watch three different channels of TV at once. Oh, I love the cinnamon room. Oh, the cinnamon room? No, I said the cinema room, not the cinnamon room. Oh, it would have been better if it was a cinnamon room. <gasps> Wait, Pip! <gasps> uh, stop talking about cinnamon and start fighting! Those zombies just got inside. I didn't even have time to show you my gaming room. Oh, you know what? I think we have to start climbing. Hurry! How did they find our secret entrance? They got inside, Pip. Just come on. Climb around this side of the tree where I am. This is the only way way up. And it seems the zombies know that Come too. On, let me just climb faster. All right. Well, we're at the top now. Hopefully those zombies don't follow us up. But in the meantime, let me show you around this base. Follow me, Pip. All right. Where are we going, Louie? Well, Pip, this is the bathroom where I do all of my funny business. Do you like it? Wait, you do your funny business in here? Yep. I even have my own comedy show, which I do in this I room. usually perform it in front of the mirror because the person in the mirror is the only person who likes my oh, jokes. Oh, yeah. They're the only person who shows up. Oh, this is a cool bathroom, Louie, but you have a bunch of rooms. Let's check them out. All right. Follow me, Pip. I am going to take you to my favorite room in the house. The TNT dropper thingamajig. Oh, the TNT dropper? Oh, come on. Flick the lever, Louie. All right, Pip. I'm gonna fire a bunch of TNT down and boom! But oh, my I guess it doesn't matter for now. Come on, follow me. I'm taking you to my next room, which is my personal bedroom. Oh, do you love reading books or something, Louie? Why are there so many bookshelves? Yes, of course I love reading books. Books are my favorite thing to do, other than watch TV and uh, go on my PC and play my Nintendo Switch and go on my Apple AirPod iPad, Ma uh, iPad Max. What the heck did you just say, Louie? Oh, don't worry, Pip. It's just the name of Apple's next iPhone. Uh -huh. Anyways, you've seen all of this, but have you seen the second floor of my bedroom? But what is this supposed to be, Louie? Are these cannons? No, they're not cannons, Pip. They are these little telescopes so I can look at the sky. Look, I'm gonna look through one of them right now. I'm gonna look at that star over there. Pip! Look, I'm right next to it. That's crazy. Oh, that's cool, Louie. Wait, wait a second. Pip, look! 
No way. It's daytime. We've been looking through my base for so long that it turned to daytime. All we have to do is kill these zombies. Let's go get them. Look, they're burning inside of my house. Wait, awesome. So that means we only have to kill the ones that are in your house. The rest of them will burn. Let's go get them, Louie. Sounds good, Pip. Let's go. All right, Louie. I'm climbing up right now. I'm going to turn on this laser. But there's too many zombies. I can't even turn on the laser. Don't worry, Pip. I'm coming to help you. I'm finishing off the rest of these zombies, and now I'm on my way. Oh, after I get out of this cobweb, let's get over there. Let me just kill these guys on the staircase, and whoa. Pip, there are a lot of them here. Are you sure we can deal with them all? Oh, I thought there were only like four or five zombies in here, but it looks like more like four to five hundred. No, no, no. This is terrible. And my sword just broke. Oh, I only have one left. Let's just hope I can make this count. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm really scared, Pip. They might win. Let's just shoot the rest of them out. Yeah. Boom. Come on, Louie. You got this. I'm trying my best, Pip. I really am. You don't understand. It's really difficult to aim a bow. It's so smooth. Just get them stuck in the cobweb. Yep. I'm just getting all of these zombies that got stuck in a hole. Now, let's finish off the babies. Boom. Ow. Boom. And boom. We finished it off. All right, Pip, but let's take a look around. Do you see any more zombies? I kind of don't. Look. Oh, all I see is cobweb because I'm stuck in a cobweb. No, don't worry, Pip. I'll help you. Cobweb. Oh. Wait, how did you survive that? Oh, Louis, it's because I've been eating golden apples and I have the best armor in the game. Well, you haven't died once, so I guess leather armor is pretty good. But, Pip, we successfully survived the zombie invasion with our awesome we tree houses. Did it, Louis. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Let's go!